Because what normally happens is that whenever you are about to settle, wakati unatarajia kutulia katika ndoa yako, something comes up. Kitu kinatokea. And that's what you cry about every day. Hiyo ndio kimefanya umelia kila wakati. God is telling me to tell you. Mungu ameniambia nikwambie that he is going to is going to remove that trouble. Mungu anamwambia anaenda kuondoa hiyo shida. And your star of peace. Na nyota yako ya amani. When you see somebody crying like this. Unapoona mtu analia hivi not something to parade sio kitu cha kuweka wazi like to parade yeah yani yani kuonyesha but this is exactly what is going on in her life na hii ndio inaendelea kwenye moyo wake god is telling you to tell you mungu ameniambia nikwambie that he is going to restore you anaenda kukurejesha because this time sababu huyu jamaa He has been so much influenced by a small group. Amekuwa amekuwa akihangaishwa kikundi cha watu fulani. That's why he does not listen to you anymore. Ndio sababu hakusikizi hata tena. Put up your hands. Put up your hands. In the name of Jesus. Jina la Bwana. I break you Satan. Nakuvunja wewe Satan whatever you have stolen away from her chochote ambacho umeiba kutoka ndani yake katika jina la Yesu give it back to her kamrejeshe kwa maisha yake give it back to her peane kwa maisha yake in the name of mtoto ameujiza haleluya mtoto ameujiza because at six months kwa miezi sita akiwa na mimba she was going to alikuwa anaenda kuafya kama kumtoa kwa mwapoti atoke anasema mtoto akiwa miezi sita kuna roho fulani alikuingia anasema kwamba anaenda kutoa huyu mtoto eh yeah. Ya ndio sababu anasema huyu ni mtoto wa miujiza. Sababu ungemtoa wakati huo angekuwa. God is seeing your your, your resilience. Mungu anaona kuvumilia kwako. The father of this child. Sababu babake mtoto huyu amekuwa hivi. Sha amekuwa hamuelewani. That's why it has forced you to Ndio sababu ilipofanya ukaamua kwamba ungeweza kumtoa hata wewe. In Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Hapo na kutele juu ya mtoto huyu. As church we are going to Don't don't go. Usiende kwa Kama kanisa as church let's 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 to buy some few clothes for the child. Watu fanye pate tatoa tatoa tumulie nguo. Pigeni bwana makofi jamaa. We are going to give you a small envelope. 
utapatiwa bahasha so that you go and buy a child some few clothes wando kanie mtoto nguo kadhaa so that don't have bad heart na ndivyo usiwe na moyo mgumu na mbaya kwa mungu haleluya father save her life ulikuwa karibu kwenda kumwambia mimi nimechoka na maisha mimi nimechoka na maisha and that would have been the end of your appearance na hiyo ndio ingekuwa mwisho wa kuonekana kwako ni ukweli don't commit suicide usijiue this child is going to be a great huyu mtoto atakuwa mtu mkubwa sana the tears na hiyo machozi that you have cried to bear this child hiyo machozi ambayo umelia kuweza kulea huyu mtoto this child will remove all your tears huyu mtoto atakuja kupanguza machozi yako katika jina la Yesu Baba ukamruhusu huyu mtoto ni mtoto wa kijana katika jina la Yesu Asante Roho Mtakatifu Office we are going to give you an envelope tutakupatia kwa ofisi tutakupatia bahasha wende umnunulie manguo katika jina la Yesu tuanisaidie about that was sticky wow so sister god has given you a new beginning mungu amepatia mwanzo mpya when go and buy some clothes eh? ndakutapatiwa bahasha hapo utaenda kununulia manguo kidogo okay after service you talk baada ibada utaongea na okay. na mama yetu kiroho unasikia kwa roho yako Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe tena. Praise God again. Nishukuru. I am thankful. Mi hata tuko niko nimeondoka kwa mzee. Even I was coming from my husband. Nilikuwa naka na sister yangu. I was I was living with my sister. I had separated with my husband. I'm now living with my sister. 
also where my sister stays it is where my mother stays with the children kuna kijana mmoja huko aliniambia twende church and there is one guy there who told me let's go to church that sunday and that, that was church. the previous sunday nikamwambia jusi yuko ready ni umeniambia and i told him i'm not ready but you would have told me ndakuja next sunday nakuja i told him i'm going to come this next sunday and that is today nilikuwa nimeokoka and I'm bo- i was born again but place life ilinifikisha but where life reached me I just felt like I've given up with life. And I was asking God a lot of questions. Because since my mother went, we have gone through a lot. Even I was thinking about the solution. It is to be married. And when I was married, the man he desired to have a baby boy because before that uh, he had a baby girl with another they were born to a they, mother i mean a, a, a boy and a, and a girl because by that time the ha- the husband was the husband, yeah, the husband was born were, were only two in their family the girl and, and him and i pray to god a lot and i say it kama mapenzi ya huyu mwanaume ni kumzalia kijana the will of if, if the will of this man is for me to have a baby boy god help me to get a baby boy na ukinipea mtu wa kijana and give me a baby a baby boy i'm going to give you i'm going to give you back as a as a as, a, as your servant and after doing a scan I, I said after some time I got pregnant then I went to do scan I discovered it's a it's a baby boy then after that I began asking God why I asked you for a child and you knew I'm going to go through all these difficulties with this man he has made me to go through a lot whenever since i gave birth he has made me to go through a lot sometimes he can deny me food sometimes he can chase me out of the house and now i told him now i've given birth i will just leave the house then if it is what you want tambo nilikuwa natumianga drugs ah some sometime i was i was using drugs na nikaamua kurudia Mungu then i decided to go back to god but vile tuliachana na mwana but thank you but ever since i left that man i came to stay with my sister niliona hata hii life ikae tu venye nataka na nikarudia drugs then i saw the life the way it was taking me then i went back to take drugs basi kutaka kuwa Mungu but it is not my it is not my wish for me to use those drugs it is just that i feel where life has reached me mwanaume alikuja monday this man came on monday na akakuja juzi he came again of recent but mwongea na yeye jana usiku ndo nilianza kumwongelea and yes since yesterday night it is when i began to talk to him akakuja na asubuhi and he came also today in the morning akachukua manguo kaenda nazo and he they took clothes and we, I, we went with them mimi sasa ndo nilikuwa nitokea church niende i was i was uh, i'm supposed to leave church today and go back again to him wala nikasema ndo wana mchungaji nimuulize kama anafanya then that's why i came here i want also to the man of god to tell me if if i should go back Ama, I, or, or maybe I'm just going back to okay. suffer again. Now what you're going to do? Kenya utafanya? You're going to go tell him. Utaenda umwambie. I want to see him. Mwambie nataka kumuona. You go tell him. Endo m- to talk to him. Umwambie nataka kumuongelesha. What is happening in between? Kenya nafanyika kati yako na ye, na yake. And the father of your child kitu yenye nafanyika katikati yako na katikati ya baba ya mtoto is because 
has been a stolen star. Ni kwa sababu kumekuwa na nyota ambayo imeibiwa. Jesus. Simple as that. Hivyo tu. This guy he loved you so much. Huyu mwanaume alikuwa anakupenda sana. Is it true? Ni ukweli. But because of three Lakini kwa sababu ya vijana watatu. They are the ones who have troubled his. Ni yao ndio wamekuwa kimwaribu akili zake. Wanampeleka hapa, they take him here, they take him there. And if he's not careful. Na asipojichunga there's a spirit of prison upon him. Kuna roho ya kumpeleka prison jela. Because the things they do over there. Kwa sababu vitu ambazo wanafanya mahali pale si vitu nzuri. So tell him before something. Endo mwambie kabla kitu mbaya haijamfanyikia. Let him come out see him. Akuje anione kwa sababu kuna kitu. Katika jina la Yesu. The spirit of drugs. Wewe roho wa madawa. Muondoke. Asego. Choka. Asego. Choka. Asego. Choka. Asego. Choka. Asego. Choka. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Thank you Lord. Asante Mungu. How do you feel in your heart? Unahisi aje moyoni mwako? Nasikia vizuri. I feel good. Nasikia nimetosheka. I feel I'm satisfied. Kwa sababu maswali ile nilikuwa nayo kwa muda mrefu. Because the question that I had in my heart I've, 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 I've really had answers today. I've seen answers today. Amen. Go your free. Amen. I'll see you with your husband.